Hi, I'm Pedro Officer Jones. I am the LPO here at Nautilus, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rear Admiral Plucky. Uh, Rear Admiral Plucky was born in 1913 in Washington, D.C. and went on to graduate from the Naval Academy in 1935 and was commissioned as an ensign to join the U.S. Navy fleet. In 1944, he took command of his first submarine, the Gata class submarine USS Barb, and went on his first war patrol. In the first war patrol, Plucky commanded a wolf pack consisting of the Barb, Herring, and Gullet. There they sank five ships and picked up one Japanese transport prisoner. In the second war patrol, the barb joined a wolf pack with the Queenfish and Tuni in the South China Sea. There the barb sank an armed transport, aircraft carrier, and a tanker. Barb was hit by an aerial bomb that destroyed the forward part of the wo wooden superstructure, but it did not penetrate the pressure hole. In the third war patrol, he formed a wolf pack with the Queenfish, Bakuda, and the East China Sea. He sank a freighter in a rough sea state and in total darkness. He shot two stern torpedoes at three targets each, and then immediately evaded pursuit of a destroyer. In the fourth war patrol, Barb located two convoys of ships at anchor. Plucky fired one torpedo at each and fled on the surface through uncharted waters. Under pursuit of a destroyer, he ordered all four governors overridden at 150% and set a new speed rating of 23 and a half knots. Eight of the 10 torpedoes hit, sinking three of the ships that were fired at. On his fifth and final war patrol, the Barb fired 12 missiles at a mining lumber city, crippling Japan's infrastructure. Later in the patrol, Barb deployed decoys and countermeasures in order to escape depth charges. On July 23rd, Flucky sent a small team of saboteurs to set a bomb with a pressure trigger, blowing up a six-car train. In 1945, the Barb returned, enduring 400 depth charges, shells, and aerial bombs. <laughs> For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life, above and beyond the call of duty as commanding officer of the USS Barb in her 11th war patrol along the east coast of China from 19 December 1944 to 15 February 1945. After sinking a large enemy ammunition ship and damaging additional tonnage during a two-hour night battle on 8 January, Commander Flucky, in an exceptional feat of brilliant deduction and bold tracking on 25 January, located a concentration of more than 3-0 enemy ships in the lower reaches of the Nanquan Chiang Fully aware that a safe retirement would necessitate an hour's run at full speed through the uncharted, mined, and rock-obstructed waters, he bravely ordered battle stations torpedoes in a daring penetration of heavy enemy screen and riding in five fathoms of water. He launched the blast forward torpedo at 3,000 yards range, quickly bringing the ship's stern tubes to bear. He turned loose four more torpedoes into the enemy, obtaining eight direct hits on six of the main targets to explode a large ammunition ship and cause inestimable damage by the resultant flying shells and other pyrotechnics. Clearing the treacherous area at high speed, he brought the barb through to safety and four days later sank the large Japanese freighter to complete a record of heroic combat achievement reflecting the highest credit among Commander Flucky, his gallant officers and men, and the United States Naval Service.